knock knock who's there third disorders thyroid who come let me open the door and introduce you to the symptoms of thyroid disorders and some of the myths which follow the thyroid disorders in the previous segment we spoke about what some of the common thyroid disorders are and what the thyroid gland is on this segment i like to focus on the symptoms of hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism hypothyroidism is a movie seen in slow motion hyperthyroidism is this movie seen in fast motion in hypothyroidism we have symptoms like tiredness lethargy fatigue decreased appetite weight gain puffiness of the face swelling all over the body constipation hair fall dryness of the skin menstrual irregularities infertility children may have growth disorders delay in puberty a lot of other functions which can happen because of hypothyroidism everything slows down goes into the hibernation mode hyperthyroidism everything is fast forward everything goes on an overdrive there is increased appetite but people lose weight there is palpitations there is loose motions there is tremors of the skin there is excessive sweating the eyes pop up they become prominent the thyroid gland becomes visible these are some of the symptoms of hyperthyroidism overdrive fast motion after having spoken about these symptoms i like to dispel a few myths regarding hypo and hyperthyroidism people think all the problems and all the weight gain in the world is because of hypothyroidism no it's not true 1 to 2 kgs at the most in severely undiagnosed untreated patients weight gain may contribute not more than that tens and tens of kgs because of thyroid not so madam you need to diet and exercise the thyroid is not responsible the second thing can i eat cabbage cauliflower broccoli soya yes ma'am you can as i mentioned these are autoimmune disorders and not because of these goitrogens eat as much as cabbage and cauliflower they want they are healthy no problems with that thyroid disorders are chronic disorders lifelong disorders and the medicine usually in hypothyroidism has to be taken lifelong you don't increase or decrease the dose of the medication based on your symptoms The doctor will check your TSH, and based on that, he will adjust your dose of the thyroid medication, which you need to take lifelong. This is Dr. Prakash Panya, specialist endocrinologist, Asa Jubilee Medical Complex. Thank you.